Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I want to hopefully create a t-shirt. But before that, I want to show you a website that I found by mistake. Uh, it's called 3D Gladiator. I'm going to post the link in the description. Uh, so these guys offer this model, which is very well done. And I did download it. Uh, the rules of using this model is over here. Except of reselling, you can do whatever you want. You can paint, bake maps, etc. To get this model, you just need to go and enter your email here. About five minutes, I got the link and I could download the model. So here we are in ZBrush. We can select another material. Uh, this model is awesome. It has a lot of details and he was really careful build. So see if you can use it in your learning process. Also, we have a pose of him. If you like to receive more info of stuff that I found on internet, please comment in this video. Now let's go and create our t-shirt. Let's select all of this and move it in the right so we have some space and then let's go to polygon. Perfect. I encourage you to watch patterns on Google. With polygon selected, let's start creating our t-shirt. So let's create one point over here. And then let's go here, let's create the color, shift, press shift, and I think around here, and then let's close it. Something like this. Now let's go to uh, edit curvature. Just a bit, this one. Perfect, now let's go to Edit pattern, select this line, right click and unfold. Great. As you can see the gizmo is small, let's right click and gizmo, increase gizmo scale. Way better, let's move it closer. Awesome. Now let's select our t-shirt and this time control C and control V to copy and paste it. Move it on to the back, right click, oops, right click, flip horizontal. Now that we have this garment, let's go and start swing. So let's select swing and I'm guessing this one. Yes, <laughs> and this two. And then let's go and unite this two. Press B, space, simulate. Also, we have our first shape of t shirt. Great. Now let's start and create some sleeves. I think, I think, I think these two are too big. So let's select them. Okay. No, too small. Yep, this is better. Let's create our sleeve. So let's go rectangular. Mm, 
Then let's go to uh, curvature. Perfect. Now let's go and uh, right click split uniform split just one and press OK. Let's go and move it on top, rotate it. Bring it closer to the hand. We can make it slight bigger. The problem is that this point won't be in the middle anymore. So It's recreated, sorry. Let's select this one, Control C, Control V. And let's move it actually over here. Another perfect on creating a uh, marvelous garment, but because this is not perfectly uh, distance correct. But anyway, I'm going to continue and uh, select flip horizontal. Let's move it closer. Wait, now let's just start and see this one. If I'm not mistaken, this swing must go over here and this one over here. Perfect. Control Z and now let's see this one over here and this one over here. But well, that's it's incorrect because this one must go over here and this one should be here. Now looks better. Okay, let's close this the bottom one. This one goes here and this one goes here. Press space simulate and we have a long sleeve of our t-shirt okay we need to change some things over here so we need to go and select this back one and let's delete We can also move it slight, slow. This one we can make the just a bit longer and this two lower down. Okay, better. Let's make this two smaller. I want the color over here, so let's make it even bigger. Let's go and select rectangular.
I think it's too big, but I'm going to reduce the size. Actually, we can go over here and delete these points. We don't need them anymore. Now let's create a simple curvature like this. And now we can see this to this. A bit big, so let's reduce it. Then let's go and select it, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and copy over here. Right click and reset. Move it in the back. Right click and flip horizontal. Let's move it just a bit more close. Now we can go and sew these two. And press spacebar. Now we have a small color. Pretty cool. Uh, Let's go to fabric and add another color. So let's go with red. Not red, let's go with blue. We had red. Perfect. Now let's select all of this and let's go for more information and press 14. Press space. And we should have more wrinkles. Beautiful. Also, we can let's let the preset. Let's go for cotton. Yeah, I think we can use it. Sort to be really cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to work more on him. I saw a small problem over here. So this color is just a slight too big. So let's make it smaller. Press B. And now it looks just a bit better. Okay, great. Now let's add more information and break just a bit the t-shirt before I call it done. So I'm going to go to internal line and let's create one over here and then again one here. Also, let's go to the sleeve. Now let's go and select this one, right click, cut and sew. Again. And one more time. Perfect. You can add more information if you want. I think I'm going to leave it like this, but we can add more 
details over here I think I want them on the other side, so control Z Maybe here Great! So that's all I hope you find this video helpful um going to move them all the object this garment and the shorts on zbrush and i'm going to continue from there but finally i can see some results uh all this info i'm going to see them in normal maps so again i hope you find this video helpful uh, subscribe if you want to support my channel and see you next time.